Good morning. Good morning. Let us pray. Say, Father in heaven, you are so good. Even when we are bad, you remain good. Now give us the wisdom by the Holy Spirit, the directions to do good and follow you in Jesus' holy name. Jesus is in his word. Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8. But you shall receive power uh -huh. when the Holy Spirit uh -huh. has come upon you. Yes. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. No Holy Spirit, no power. When you see that power, get to know your issue is finished. Yeah. What is it? What is happening today? I am Sahamit Mohoros from Botswana. Mm. The power is too much, man of God. Lady from Botswana, what is happening to her? See how she's being driven forward. Yo! 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 What is it, sir? I'm, I'm Kenny from Zambia. Look at the gentleman. gentleman from Zambia. From Zambia. He too is touched. Watch brethren. Not only one brethren, even another one is touched in the congregation. The power of God is present here. Watch many are touched. In every part of the church, everybody in the congregation. As you see the touch of God's power, many are reacting, many are falling on the floor. As they are being delivered, the power of God has touched So what is it? For the gentleman. I see you. You are so successful. Why? I'm William Kandogiri from Malawi. Yeah. I watched this on. On, on what? On. On what? On. <laughs> so what is happening to Brother Willie? They for their My name is Mbengo Joseph Mtsat. Yeah. I come from Zimbabwe. Yes. Prophet, I'm surprised by the power. There's a mighty touch of God's power upon him. 7-7 seven, seven of 1 Corinthians. For I wish that all men were even as I myself, mm. but each one has his own gift from God. Mm -hmm. One in this manner, and another in that. There's a brother here of three kids, but one of them you doubt. No, the color doesn't matter. Come out for prayer. The color doesn't matter. What a friend they have in Jesus. Brother who has come forth to confirm this prophecy wow. for his deliverance. Let us listen to him. My name is Job Karani. I have three kids. I'm from Kenya. But the last one, I have a doubt because he has a light skin <laughs> compared to the others. Let me show the church. This is the boy. These are the other two children that I have. As you are continuing, sir, tell us the color of your grandma. It is true, man of God. The color of their grandmother is, is yellowish, just like the, the young boy. Since the grandmother was blonde, he can still have the, uh, the color in the family. Ask God to forgive you. Because the one you are resenting will be richer than all the rest. 
is too rich, too bright, even as this stage, too bright. I confirm the, the prophecy is very bright. And you are resenting the child. I ask Jesus to forgive me for the salvation of my soul. The Lord Jesus Christ is setting him free. Thank you, Have Jesus. Have your freedom in Jesus. Yeah. Another brother, you went to see a land. But when you went to see the land, the vehicle you took was not so much okay because the road was not so good. Ever since you came back, this right leg is so paining. Come out for prayer. I'll tell you now about the land issue. There is a brother who has come forth to confirm this prophecy for his deliverance. Let us listen to him. My names are Kenny Montamanya from Zambia. I would like to confirm that the prophecy the man of God has said is true. And the vehicle that uh, we used going to the land was not good. And the way was a bushy kind of a way. It was not a good road. So the story about this land, we were taking blocks to this land. So the vehicle broke down. Then the landowner, the one who sold me the land, there was a payment that me and my mother was paying to this man. We paid it in full, but the last payment was not signed for. So this man says now, telling my mother that you did not finish paying, so he grabbed the land away from us. We went to the chairman of the land. The chairman wrote to say it was not fairly treated on my part, so it was refunded back. What surprised me was that uh, he said, if you are not believing that you did not fully uh, finish the payment of the land, we can go to the witch doctor to confirm. From that time, I started having leg pains on my right up to now. Can you leave this land because this is death? <laughs> Let me pray for you. God is too rich. He'll give you another land. Brother Mwantamanya from Zambia receiving deliverance after this prophetic message. All the witchcraft, the working of Satan in his life is being uprooted. Same time as healing goes on for his leg that was talked about in the prophecy, the right leg that has been so painful. Buzz up. Father, is your son. Have mercy upon him. Father, remove this. Death. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. There's a land at the National Agriculture Institute. There's a land that I'm building on right now. It's uh, near the Agriculture Institute, NRDC. Oh. Man of God, what you have said is true. And the house. Right now, it's at the window level. Be with this land. Office give me $3,000 for him to finish the house. Don't go to Don't go to death. God bless. Stop. Stop. Thanks be to Jesus Christ. Let a neighbor like him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. You are not just free, but you are blessed. Amen. So, um, the other issue are open for you is the politics to become an MP. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Honorable Member of Parliament. Honorable Member of Parliament. Thank you, Jesus. You're welcome. Honorable Thank Member of Parliament. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What is this place? Chi. It starts with Chi. The area you're going to stand for is called Chi. Chingola. Uh -huh. Chingola. Mm. Amen.
will come. Thank you, Jesus. Honorable. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. MP Ochingola. Now, the aircraft, you make them like uh, vans. Thank you. Open us! Come on. Thank you, Jesus. They are on their way. I now believe that the Lord God Almighty sees my cries. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, you have a house. One particular roof of a certain bedroom has really disturbed you. Yeah. There is a brother who is coming forth to confirm this prophecy for his deliverance. Let us listen to him. My name is Eric Kusimba, born in Kenya but based in South Africa. I'm the brother, the man of God, speak about the house one side is falling. The house which at least showed in the photo it was falling is the house for my parents. Uh, first it was eaten with the ants, the left side all of it, then we renovated all of it again. Then it didn't finish more than two years again, the ant eated all of it again. Then we decided to build a new house. When we built the new house, my mother only moved in that new house. My father refused to, he remained inside that house. Then this week I was breaking that house down, the side which is eaten because I realized it can fall on somebody. But my dad was very angry, he refused, I don't break it, I leave it just standing like that. Therefore I'm here to confirm that the prophecy, the mind of God is, is true. I have the picture. I just want to confirm about it also. The picture is it's not that clear because it was dark. The left side of the house is the house which fell down completely. I confirm to be true. problem. Let me remove this problem from you. We don't want death. You love your father. Father, remove this problem. He's being set free in Jesus' name. Now he will agree to come out of the house. My name is Catherine Baja, I'm from Kenya. Man of God, I would like to know the root cause of uh, stagnation and near success syndrome in my life. This is my home in the village. This one is the home of my stepmother the first wife to my father. She died. There's a tree in between here, and then this is the house of my mother. This has disturbed your life too much, yes. that even in the dream, mm -hmm. when you're carrying things like this, yes. somebody comes mm -hmm. and poof, Yes. And say, e even in the dream, I was carrying a tray or a basket, mm -hmm. and somebody come and brought it away from me. Yes. What is this going on? Mm -hmm. Your dream others are removing shoes from you, others are taking your dress. Mm -hmm. You say, God, what will be the end of this race? True. 
people. I dream that people are snatching things away from me. My clothes are being taken away from my body. And if, if, at night I can be sleeping and then I just wake up and start screaming. It has disturbed my life big time. And I keep on asking God, why is all this going on in my life? Now, we want to remove you from this saga. Amen. Because this is where a lot of witchcraft was performed. Yes, true man of God. Let this saga stop. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Reverend prayer for Sister Catherine from Kenya. Father, help her. The hardware issue. And Jesus, sorry. Because you tried, but the hardware issue was very important in your life. Yes, it was. I confirmed the prophecy to be true man of God. I tried my hands on several businesses, even the hardware, but they seem to crumble. Now the hardware is the best for you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There were three houses. Mm -hmm. The fourth, you just see cockroach to add on it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, to give what is not there. Man of God, what you've said is true about the three houses. And I've been trusting God for houses because I'm tired of renting. These and are the three houses. Good morning, Prophet Samuel Kagande. Ah, good morning, but I, was, I, I got worried <laughs> when you My, stood up. My name is Jobela Masole. Listen, Jobela Masole. I got worried when you stood up. Because when you stood up, you did like this. And oh. you hit a woman. Oh, I apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was the ex-wife. I slept her with my hand. She said, this is a big mistake. Never do that to me. You hear me? Yes. You regret. She said, you will regret it. This is the last time you put your hands on me. And that is how your business and everything started moving out. I've been losing everything. I lost my cars, everything to the pawn shops. I've, the business not moving. Everything is just scattering. Receiving a prayer for his deliverance. Father, help him. Father, forgive him. Ask Jesus to forgive him. He said, ha. Ah. What you have done, you will regret. Me? Me? <laughs> so when you were rising up, I saw the woman. I said, ah, the brother, what did you do to this woman? Ask Jesus to forgive you. Jesus Christ, I ask for forgiveness for what I did, and I ask for salvation of my soul. Because I will never do it again. You didn't have children with her? I did. I, I have two boys with her. Yes. You are now going to get money. Yes. Go and give her, I don't say go and marry her again, yes. but look for $15,000 and give her. I will do it, man of God. <laughs> I'll give you five months. If you want everything to go on well, one, two, three, four, five months, give her $15,000. Don't go back to her, I love you, no. Give her 15. She gave you two boys who look like you. Yeah. Yes, so I will give her. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. My name is Judith Mwanga from Tanzania. Man of God, I wanted you to know the root cause of my mother's illness. What you have drawn, man of God, is very true. This look like the village where my mother come from. This one is his brother house. When you enter at the entrance of the area, his brother house, which is my uncle. Then this one was the house of my grandfather, where my mother was being born and raised. And this house here, it is the house which my mother built. And in the tribe of my mother, 
they do not allow women to get land. But my mother was given land out of all girls. So all people were against it, and they were very harsh about my mother. Why a woman was given land? Who is this to you? My sister-in-law. The family now developed kind of entering witchcraft. Growing up, I, was, I have seen my mother going to the Sangomas. Your mom, what is troubling her is mental problem. Yes, yes, man of God, yes. She is depressed and she has like psychological issues. That is what is also troubling you. Yes. You have mental problem. Yes. You are always depressed. Yeah, I'm depressed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I command the spirit of killing, stealing, destruction. Come! Pick up. Deliverance is going on for Sister Judith from Tanzania. Blood of blood of Jesus. She's being set free from this mental problem. Ah, I have a feeling everything will be all right. I have a feeling everything will be all right. Everything will be okay. Even the vehicle issue has been solved. Now, if I were you, I would have walked. I've been walking. Martha Kenyanjui. I'm born in Kenya, but I married in South Africa. Mental problem. We had a, a, a nun call who is a distance one who was mad. For me, from my side, I get stressed. When I'm stressed, I get very angry. Sister Martha. Be delivered in Jesus' soul. My name is uh, Ostrida Juntuf Shenyanjaya. I come from Malawi. My late father, he lived and settled life and rejected wherever he went. This is a place where we grew up, far away in the north part. These are the three houses that were there. If you want to know why this land brought a problem. Yes. And for you, I just want to remind you, come. No, 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 the boy. Make him a little bit bigger at the early stages. Yeah. Some other people in a relationship, they are witches. Even when he has not slept with you, he still continues to bewitch you that your future is. Man of God will confirm the prophecy of the man we are talking about. At that moment, I was so young. That was the time when he, the man you are talking about wanted me. Let me take him out of your house. This is a tune to fear from Malawi receiving her deliverance. Come, look at this man. My name is Sagani Mawasa from mm. South Africa. Mm. He was my boyfriend, but we didn't date long. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like him. He's not the one. <laughs> you my go and sit. <laughs> you told him I was not born to suffer. Can I remind you? Yes, it's I was true. not born to suffer. I confirm the prophecy man of God. <laughs> when he, he said that he wanted to marry me, and then I said no because uh, I didn't trust him that he was waking or not. So I said no, I'm not going to marry him because of that. And remember what he told you? He said that uh, 
you will see, you will see. So that is how I ended the relationship. Because you. So ask me the question. I wanted to know what is the the root cause of the barrenness in me and my husband. When we checked, they said I don't have a problem, so I don't know. I answered the question already. Yeah? Isn't it? Yes. And you see the man in your dream coming to sleep with you. Yes, sometimes, uh, and I will wake up first before it, like sometimes before it happens, sometimes I will feel like, did it happen or not? Come, come, I deliver you. These two kids, you saw them in your dream. Yes, I saw two boys. What Thank you, you saw, Jesus. What you saw is what I give you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Lilibet Machacha. My question is about my child. My daughter is missing and I don't know where she is. Can you find a prophet for me? This is a river or a stream. The origin of all this is from this place. This is witchcraft issue. The only place I know there is a stream is at the grandfather's place in Botswana. I know the grandmother did something to my, my firstborn. It was looking like witchcraft. I came and take the child. I found her very dark in the face. They were burning something and making him, I don't know what they were doing. So I came and I reprimanded them. I took my child that time. Reverend, going on for society, but from USA. Father, remove the cause in Jesus' name. Raise up. So you, you are from US? You are from US? Yeah, but I originally come from Botswana, but I stay in the US. That's where she was born, so I was... Don't really... worry, you will recover your daughter. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. The place in the US, you know that place? Baltimore. Yes, there's a place in the U.S. called Baltimore. You want to know where she is? Yes, yes. Be glorified. Be glorified. My name is Grace Gatueri from Kenya. I would like to know why my mother is mentally ill. Are you together? Yes, Who this is, is my sister. Okay. So you want to know why your mom is mentally ill? Yes. At their place, they had cows. Yes, I confirm the prophecy to be true man of God. And these cows brought them problems. Yes. And they were divided into three groups. Yes, I can confirm that because my grandmother, they had a lot of cows, so my, my grandmother is the one that used to sell the milk and she's the one who used to do all the work. So at some point, there was a disagreement, then my, my grandfather decided that uh, you should be the one that should be getting all the cash. So you get money and just go and spend it out there. So they had to divide the cows between the grandmother, the grandfather, and the sons. That is where witchcraft started. I confirm the prophecy, man of God. They're receiving deliverance now in Jesus' name. Let me rescue you because you sleep in terror. Yes. When time of sleeping comes, you are so frightened. Yes. You are, oh, yes, man of my God. God. It is. My name is Sami from South Africa. I do get um, scared when I sleep. Sometimes when I wake up, I wake up with bruises on my body. So the, the first night, the morning, I will wake up with body pains. And then the second day, I'll find bruises on my body. Once upon a time, you had a colleague, a friend. Yes, man of God. Who accused you of, um, it was a relationship issue. Mm -hmm. Ever since that time, life has not been the same. Mm. 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 
make her a bit taller. Men of God, the lady that she, just stood next to you looks like a lady who worked at our company who actually accused me of dating one of the employees at work. In the name of Jesus, they will go. There is going on for this sister from South Africa. Come back no more. In Jesus' mighty name, have peace. But I will remove suicide thoughts. Suicide souls go. Suicide souls go. In Jesus' mighty name. Have your peace. Raise up your free. At least you sleep. At least you sleep. About two years ago, I did have some suicidal thoughts. The only reason why I actually didn't take my life is because I was scared that my mother wouldn't survive if I take my own life. It is over. Amen. Thank you, my Lord.